Okay, hello again. So again, we'll try to solve another alert from Let's Defend IO, very wonderful platform to learn how to be a SOC. Okay. So we recommend you register here and start learning. Sharpen your skills. So today we'll pick this case who am I command detected and request body. Okay, let's start. So again, we need to take ownership the case. Just like in the real world, take ownership, make sure it has a case created. And you can now start your playbook. Be it a, a workflow, automated workflow or manual workflow. So the beauty of this platform it is it's a guided investigation. Let's start playbook. Again, understand that the alert was triggered. So let's view the command again. So here it was triggered because it says that the alert that who am I command was detected in the request body. So we need to to check the relevant logs related to the alert. Okay, by the way, notice here this is again inbound traffic and the destination is another web server. Okay, this is the requested URL and the device action was allowed. Okay, let's search the log the logs. This here you have single external IP connecting to our web server. If we do of course check the raw to check the request body. And what do you notice here? Device actions permitted. Uses a request method post. Okay, it's a response size. HTTP go to hybrid meaning successful. And notice here the parameter is C. And notice here this seems to be an OS command LS, right? So where's the who am I? So it's in the succeeding request. Okay, and okay. Sorry for the background noise. And notice here, this is another uh, Linux command being used in the C parameter. New name. Uh, again, aha, uh -huh. and we have confirmed indeed those are Linux. So notice here, it's trying to view the ATC task WD file. And oh, this one, it is a shadow. Where is the who am I? Uh, the who am I? Here's the who am I. Right? That's that's why the alert triggered. So, notice here that the attackers uh, is injecting commands to the C parameter in attempt to exploit or reveal sensitive information from the web server. So, if you're not familiar with the attack, this is a command injection attack command injection web attack wherein the attacker tries to exploit rebuild sensitive info about the target by injecting OS commands in the URL okay okay we already collected the data we analyzed that it's a web server the traffic is inbound and when we do a reputation check of the attacker IP boom it's malicious from China is carrying out multiple SSH boot force attack. Okay, so it's a quick reputation check. And we already examined the HTTP traffic and we, we confirmed that we are dealing with the command injection here. So if you want to know more about web attacks, you can click this link, but we'll not, we'll not dig deeper on that. We'll just focus on the command injection alert for now. Definitely, this is a malicious, and as I mentioned, uh, we are dealing with a command injection. Okay, so to check if it's planned, uh, we can check the relevant webmail or email logs if there is a prior communication 
related to that web server which turned out to be none so this is definitely not planned and the direction of traffic is inbound internet to company network and here as we have reviewed the attack was successful as it returned http 200 with the response bytes so there's no indication it was blocked whatsoever so yes it was successful and given that it was successful we ought to contain the host but mind you in the real world you cannot just contain a web server like that so there are certain protocols to follow before you are allowed to do containment in the real world okay okay now that it's contained click next and just uh, actually attacker ip oh sorry just attacker ip right okay you can click next definitely we need sure to escalation because in the real world this needs to be coordinated to the app or development team for fixing the command injection vulnerability or implementing a compensating control in between like WAF web application firewall so yes and here I prepared my analysis notes in advance so here uh, we have noticed the IP is doing command injection attack we have confirmed it through the post parameter uh, wherein the attacker is tampering the parameter C and notice here the attacker is injecting multiple OS commands like LS you name uh, who am I so forth and so on okay that's it we can now close the alert of course uh, in the real world you can close it once all the remediation or mitigation steps or recovery steps have been performed okay okay then we close the alert and congrats